go right here, pick that up, drains out into a gutter system. We go all the way down this way, and, and then we have some giant Asian wood turtles right down here. These guys get massive, massive, massive. Indian. Two spotted Indian pond turtles, there you go. Put these guys in there, nice. Welcome back ranch fam, another video here at the ranch and today we're in the back of the building and this is my full on turtle freaking area to graze up turtles and tortoises. We are making a facility here. There's always been a facility here but we had to start over and we made it freaking amazing. Putting so much information from so many different facilities around the world into one. So right here we have a whole system right here to grow out and raise turtles turtles just turtles all aquatic turtles and wood turtles are going to be right here so up here we have these bins up top these bins there's nine going across nine more going in the bottom and if i run out of that i can put a nine more up top but we're not there right now we're just doing right here so we have 18 of these gray bins and then we have one two three four five six of these large concrete mixing bins they're all have bulkheads and every single one of them for easy cleaning so all i have to do is water turns on it's on high power because it's not all connected at the same exact time. But all I have to do is you come over here, go over here, pick that up, drains out into a gutter system. We go all the way down this way, and straight down. There's still a little bit more things that we have to do. It is not 100% completely done. But you guys see what's going on. It's going on. It is happening. It is working. There's still a leak right there, but this is just the start of something amazing so it has capability of being in an awesome grow out for awesome different species of turtles here in the back of the building we got so many different types of roads we walk a little bit over here we got the tortoise ones as well this is for all the land tortoises we got the bridges that dylan's walking and i walk across so if you guys are buying turtles or tortoises off of blakeexoticanimalranch.com this is where they get raised up this is where they stay and this is where they get shipped from right here but um Pretty much gonna be a stop talking right now because we still have to do a lot more things here. We have a hose that has to get put here. Well, the hose is there. This is a hose so I can clean and do different things. It's all completely meshed in. We have to take out some concrete here. We're gonna have more bins here. This place is getting completely filled up. So make sure you keep those post notifications on. But we're just gonna um, stop right now because I'll see you guys tomorrow when we complete this whole entire thing. See you then. So it's the next day and everything is complete except the top rope. We just need to get bulkheads up there, but all the gutters, everything's in place. They all go down into a two inch pipe down all the way to the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a big old hole on the outside of this door and that's gonna be the French drain. So all the water will go down into the rocks and disappear and we'll have a flooded big old area. So that's gonna help so we don't track mud and make everything dirty and nasty. But we walk over here and we got water and uh, bricks and every single one so they have a basking area for each different species that i'm going to put in here and most of the species are inside the patio so we're going to go get those guys talk about what we have and bring them over here right now we have some pink belly snapper right here from australia gorgeous little guys these guys are uh, available on the website we have some beautiful common snapping turtles as well available on the web website look at those a whole bunch of them and then we have some giant Asian wood turtles right down here. These guys get massive, 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 but they're doing great. He's all dried up because he was sitting on his brick and then his buddy over there is in the water just hanging out. But again, all I have to do is once these things get dirty, so just look right here, go right here, lift it up, sucks right out, goes down, right down there, and it comes right out. No problems, easy, quick, simple things. And then I just go over here and Fill it back up. I don't like I put it on blast because then I'm gonna drown the turtles, obviously. So I just do it like that. Be here, and that is it. Very simple, very productive, easy way. So I have these turtles clean and healthy all the time. So let's head to the patio and let's go grab some turtles to bring on the bottom of all these racks. All right, so we have the spotted leg wood turtle babies here. We're putting these all together. They're all gonna go over there. So instead of, like I said, we have those systems back there. It's gonna help out a lot. We have some uh, Central American wood turtle hatchlings here as well. Put those all together. I don't want to mix everybody together, but the ones that are the same species is fine. Those are good. 
These are last year's spotted leg wood turtles. So you can see the size of this is this year's. This is about a month old hatchling and this is a year old baby. Get some more. There you go. Another one right there. And then we got two Japanese wood turtles as well. So we're gonna bring all these guys over there and then we'll come back for another section of other turtles. So let's do that. So obviously the bigger guys are gonna be on the bigger containers. So we're gonna put one there. We're gonna put the Japanese with them as well because they've been all living together. And this is a lot bigger tub than they were in before. So there you go, you guys. There you go. So all those, there's five of them that are in there. So let me see who's going next. These waters are a little bit too deep, so I'm definitely gonna have to shallow them up a little bit. So I can put centrals in there together. Definitely gonna put a lot more shallower water and then they'll have, um, what do you wanna say, a little area so they could dry up as well. Spotted like wood turtles will be in their own enclosure right there. There you go. In early mornings, everybody gets sun in here. The sun comes into here without a problem and they get all basked up and they get that sun right there. Just enough sun every single day so they get that UVB and they get that calcium and everything they need. But uh, let's head back right now and squid some more turtles. We got two spotted leg, no, two spotted Indian pond turtles. There you go. Put these guys in there. Nice deep enough water. They can go right there on top of that wood or brick. The next one over is gonna be right here. It's gonna be two Colombian blue-eyed wood turtles. Put them in the water right there. We got a big old enclosure. They can go around, hang around at. Next two. So tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna head back to the back to the turtle area, and I'm gonna show you guys all the little tweaks and little things that we did to that turtle rack to make it perfect and pristine. And we have a lot of lettuce today as well, so we're gonna move some stuff around, and uh, let me go show you what this rack looks like now. All right, so everything is put together how I want it to be. So down over here, nothing's in this one. We have North American wood turtles, I have Colombian blue-eyed wood turtles, I have another type of wood turtle. Don't know how to say the names, I know what species they are. These are spotted leg wood turtles and Japanese leg wood turtles, and then there's a giant Asian wood turtle in here. And then that right there, we have some of those available for sale on the website, I said that earlier. All different things, they all have little landing spots. You see right here, they have little spots to get on top. The water's dirty. All I have to do, like I've said before, is I just lift this plug up and the water just goes right in. That one needs a screen, obviously, because if you don't put a screen on there, the freaking snapper turtles are gonna go down. And all where they're gonna go is they're just gonna go right there. But it's pretty cool, the water goes right down into the ground. Awesome, beautiful, amazing system, works great. I have a hose over here to clean when I want to. And then uh, I got this Missouri Aquatic pellet right here and I can feed, go wherever I need to go, give everybody some food. They just do freaking great. Everybody eats. Much easier, much efficient, fast feeding water, everything, so I can move on and go to the next thing. The awesome thing about turtles and tortoises is that they don't really need your companion. They have each other or that's it. These are just for grow outs and these are for selling and things to raise up and things of that sort. Um, these are not their original homes. These won't be their homes forever. They would go into new pins or different pins out into different parts of the property, but this is just an amazing system to grow out your turtles and tortoises, and that's what I've made right here. They're gonna get a little bit of collard greens as well, the species that do eat greens, because they get mixed up. But I really like the system. This is what I plan to make. Many other people that I um, that breed turtles in Florida have pretty much the same exact system, and I learned off of every single one of their systems and pretty much put them all together as one just to learn all their mistakes that they said they did and then things of like that. And then I just got it all together perfectly and pretty happy with what I made. Pretty dope. Look at all these spotted like wood turtles, man. They look great. Look at them here. These are all last year's, this year's babies. Gorgeous little guys. One of my favorites, not gonna lie. Yeah. Look at those faces. Cool yeah. little guys. Oh, right there. oh yeah, he's pretty. Really cool. So earlier in this video, you guys saw that these tubs had a PVC pipe here and they were kind of leaning just a little bit and they just did not look safe at all. So I had my buddy come by while I was doing something else and he just designed a very easy, simple little piece of wood. It's a 12 by two by like 12 foot piece of wood. He put some legs on it and it was able to keep these uh, concrete mixing tubs perfectly stable in place. And look now, nothing is freaking moving. It made the whole rack 10 times stronger. I don't have to worry about anything, winds, things of that. It's just perfect, ready to go. Sun does come in from that side really well. And if I needed to add one more top rack, 
I could if I wanted to, but as of right now, we have a lot of rocks. These are not even plumbed up yet. We still have to put bulkheads here, but I'll do that once I get the PVCs and all that. But uh, make sure you guys are putting your post notification on because we just redid the whole entire area over here and there's still a lot more to do here as well. And on top of that, you guys haven't seen the cranes for a long time and if you guys see this stand that's right there, it is disgusting and ugly and just ratchet. It's like really ratchet. I don't know, I'm saying ratchet, but it's ratchet. And uh, we're gonna make a really dope, cool little like tree for them that they could jump on. And that's gonna be really cool to show you guys as well. Let's walk this way. I'm gonna show you how all the other tortoises are doing inside of here before we end this video. All the tortoises that you guys buy from me off my website get raised up here. And this is where they get fed. Look at them all. They all look great, doing good, getting their produce, getting their greens every single day. And then actually what I'm gonna be building, really cool system is that right here is gonna be a rack for all these smaller tubs. And it's gonna have bulkheads as well, just like that. It's gonna have drains. So when I do my daily waters, I pick them all up, put them over here, the water drains out. Just trying to do really efficient systems so that I can save time because I have to save time. There's a lot of animals here. So I have to learn how to get everything very, very easy. And pretty much you can say, not to be rude or anything, but dumb proof. The reason why I want a dumb proof, so anybody can come in here if I hire or have anybody volunteer in the future, knows how to do it simply fast and quick and i can watch them on the cameras and it'll be like hey just make sure you do this and make sure you do that you know what i mean so everything is perfect and pristine here on the ranch but uh i just want to make everything perfect look over here the radiators are doing amazing you guys if you haven't seen this enclosure they are living their best life look at them all down here getting all their fresh greens and everything you got the little shy little yellow head over here that wasn't by the greens but let's put them right there and uh, i mean they're just doing great they're learning how to drink the water out of by themselves without a problem. I still do their daily soakings, but you can see since they've been in here, every single one of them has grown. Look at that. See that white strip right there? That's a brand new growth vine. Ready for this? That one right there. Just randomly picked up. Brand new growth line right there. Doing great right there. Look at this one. Since literally they've been here for two weeks. Look at that. Crazy. Doing great. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well here at the ranch. And again, always have those post notifications on. Subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 800,000 subscribers. I can't believe we came this far. That's pretty freaking dope. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Boom.